So today felt like going on a hike, get some exercise, and we came to Puala Mountain, um, which is all the way up there. It's about six miles round trip. Um, so let's go with the flow and see how far we go. All right, it started to rain uh, over here. It's a light drizzle, so we're gonna keep going. And uh, hopefully, as we go closer, the drizzle gets lighter. So we're pretty much at the base of the mountain and now about to take the climb up. So quiet and peaceful here. Alright, we reach the gate. So this kind of marks the proper descent onto the mountain or the ascent onto the mountain. Um, probably one third left to go. So peaceful out here. see what we're at upside down we're at about 2.2 miles right now um probably about three-fourths of a mile left but here going up uh, and then coming down is always a lot easier but we're making progress so i keep saying three quarters of a mile but from this point <laughs> it's actually three quarters of a mile we basically have to go that way and go all the way around to the top of the mountain and then come back down this way supposedly there's a dead cow that way that's what one of the hikers was saying so he says it may be better to go up that way but that way is really steep um you can see how steep it is you see that person coming down over here so we'll see um probably just gonna go the regular way even with the cow coming it might be cool to film it it's pretty sweet walking in the middle of the cow pasture all open and just so pretty oh my god look how many of those birds there are. i don't know if you can see them in the video but there's at least like 20 there and then a bunch that just flew so beautiful there's a little baby cow over there let's see if we can play with it but they're all staring at me like what are you doing here look at this butcha so cute i think that's the mom Definitely keeping an eye on me. And another one. Okay, we're at about three miles in. Maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.2 left up to the top. 1500 feet elevation from the bottom. Um, made progress. Almost there. We made it. We made it. All the way up on the top. Weather is just so beautiful. I walk a little bit and find a bench and show you some more views. Congratulations. You made it to the top of Hu Hua 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 Cone. <laughs> ah, elevation almost 4,000 feet, 3.23 miles. Very accurate, 3.29 because I measured it from the car. Uh, very pretty bench for us to sit on. And then the way down would be easy. The thing I love about Big Island, if you can hear me, is uh, how fast it is. This is the other side where I'm sitting. Um, that's where the ocean is 
over here. Um, this is all a big hunting area, big hunting area. Um, and then Waimea area is over there. It's very windy, so hopefully you can hear me through the microphone. But I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit and then we'll head down. We're headed back about 1.5 miles back down, but down elevation should be a lot faster. So we'll see, show you guys stuff down on the way. So we're making progress on the way back down. Um, should be a lot easier for sure, but the distance is the same. So I'm guessing it'll it took an hour and a half to go up. I'm guessing about an hour to go down. Definitely worth the view. Uh, super beautiful area. Probably reach home around 5.30. It's three o'clock right now, so the drive is about 45 minutes home. All right, let's check out this guy. Watch this guy. They're like super scared though. Oh, they don't let me get that close. Oh, they let me get pretty close this time. We officially made it down at last. Um, back to the car. Let's see, it was 6.6 .6 miles total and about 1,750 feet elevation gain and about two hours and 37 minutes. So now to Walmart to fill up some water and I'm ready to eat dinner and pass out.